inventory allocation can be really one of the more overwhelming aspects of the system so we're gonna take it as slow as possible uh, to make sure you, you really understand it here but let's start with the idea what the concept of allocation is and really what it means is we're we're taking a specific sales order or or uh, shipment within a sales order and saying what inventory we want to use to fill that um, so let me go there's actually two ways you can access the allocation portion of the system the first of which is in sales orders so if I go sales and purchase orders and go into sales orders and it's about halfway down here sales order allocation the other way is from logistics on the right hand side outbound second one down inventory allocation now the first step in inventory allocation is selecting which specific sales order it is that we want to fill um, and this is going to be your sales order scan you can filter it down by by date by product by customer however it is you would normally do that um, to choose which sales order is you want to address at this moment so let's I'm going to select this one um, which is my, my most recent order and it's going to take me into the allocation screen to show me what shipments I have on this specific sales order so this can be an overwhelming screen. Let's let's talk about what what each row and each column represent. Each row represents a sales order shipment. The columns here are going to show you if it's already been allocated or pre-allocated with inventory. It's showing you which venture it's allocated with here. This is giving you the product, uh, you know, product ID, product description, the quantity, the estimated delivery date the price per unit and the status of the shipment or the status of the release sales order release so in this case I have these three have our sales order issued meaning we've created the sales order but we haven't done anything more with it and this one's already been released to logistics which is really the final stage meaning it's, it's ready to ship um, so let's for now I'll deal with this specific release it's a, a shipment of 20,000 pounds of coconut water. My release number is 12426, meaning sales order 12426. The first item on the order, coconut water, and the second shipment of coconut water. So we had this previous shipment of 8,800 pounds, and then this is our second shipment of coconut water. Now, the most basic way in which you can allocate inventory is to simply say, just pull inventory from this warehouse and that's all I need to know so this this listing down here in this drop down are the three possible warehouses in which I can pull inventory from so each of these warehouses contain coconut water and it's telling me how much is in each warehouse so the most basic thing I could do is just select my warehouse and then I'll select the action that I want to take with this inventory which is one of two things either final match it meaning we're just gonna set it aside it's it's allocated to this customer we're not gonna do anything more with that but it, we're saying no other no we don't want anyone else to pull from this inventory it's already been allocated to this three brothers customer and specifically it's been allocated to this release or we can take it one step further which is release meaning we're indicating this inventory is ready to go it's ready to ship um, now that's the most basic way you could do it and then click proceed now let's look at if we wanted to get a little bit more detail about what inventory we have in this warehouse we can click the view button on nationwide and this is going to show me if I'm if I'm tracking at the lot level it's going to show me one row for each lot if I'm tracking at the venture level it's going to show me one row for each venture but let's say in this case it's in this case it is actually at the lot level I've got this venture number one two zero eight eight star one star two this is my lot in this case I have one hopper car of 190,000 pounds um, hopper car would be the package type it could be drums it could be cartons it could be 25 kg bags however it is that your product is, is packaged it's going to show us how many packages are available in that lot or in that venture so the 
in this case I'm looking for 20,000 pounds. I want to pull from a lot that has 20,000 available to me. Um, so in this case, this one's got 32,600. And I'm just going to pull from this one and say that's, that's the one that I want to allocate to. Now, it's given me a warning to say the sales order shipment will be overmatched by 12,600 um, if we pull from this specific venture because it's only one package with 32,000 and it's saying do I want to do that and I'm going to say yes I do. By the way while we're here if I was short say that I have my my 20,000 pounds is what I'm trying to fill but um, unfortunately I don't have 20,000 I, I only have 10 available I can do that and ship the 10 and it'll create a back order or a new release for that remaining 10 as long as I have this checkbox here checked off because um, it's saying if I'm short automatically create a back order for me. So now we've allocated to that specific lot and by default it's going to final match meaning set that inventory aside. I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to say I want to release meaning I want to let the system know this inventory is ready to go out. If I decided I made a mistake um, or you know maybe I release it already and then the warehouse guy says wait a minute that's not the right inventory for some reason I can come back in here and unmatch and click proceed and that'll bring it back to the previous status instead of being final matched it'll bring it back to that previous status of sales order issued and I'm back to where I started so this action is really going to be how you tell the system what what the system should be doing with the inventory and this column is telling which inventory to pull. A uh, couple other notes about this specific screen is you're going to see periodically these little eye icons come up and if you hover over one of them it's going to give you additional information about that specific release. In this case this is actually very valuable information is saying that this release has already been pre-allocated to a purchase order but that purchase order is not yet issued, so um, meaning the inventory is coming eventually, but uh, but the, the supplier hasn't shipped it yet. Um, or in the case of this one, this has been released to logistics. We have additional info here that this shipment is currently in a delivery. Um, we can revert it and take it out of that delivery if we want to, or we can just just leave it in there, and that, that means it's ready to ship. So I'm going to say I do want to release, and I'll say proceed. And then I can, right, exactly, the, the overmatch warning, which is good. And that's fine. I'll say release. And once I've released that, once I've released that uh, sales order shipment, then it's available for me to work with in the uh, deliveries. So if I go, if I say done here, I can go into the delivery screen from logistics. Uh, delivery maintenance, create a new delivery, and any of those releases that have, or any of those sales order shipments that have that release to logistics status are going to be available for me to send out to customers there.